What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do this with the new Reason Rack plugin that is compatible with Pro Tools. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools, about to use the Reason Rack plugin. Amazing, right? I love it. I hope you do as well. Okay, cool. So let's uh, just play through this beat a little bit and let's find some parts to chop up. Ideally, you'll do this after an artist has put lyrics on it already. So the chops and whatever you put on it kind of fits the lyrics. So I'm just going to show you some ideas um, to get you going creative wise. All right, so here, uh, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Maybe, uh, well, I'll cut there, but. Um, All right, so I'm cutting here. And uh, let's select a portion of this. That's not the portion I wanted to even cut. All right, so about here, I want to cut and uh, do a chop. So. Gonna change the grid a little bit, um, just so that when I cut this, I could get cleaner. Um, maybe about here for now. And let's duplicate this over. I'm um, holding down Option and dragging. Gonna duplicate that. And uh, as for the pops, we'll fix those in a second. But um, let's pull up the Reason Rack plugin and use it in audio suite form. All right, here we go. Hopping into the effects section, um, some things I like to use just off top would be Audiomatic, Polar, Scream, and uh, Sweeper. Anything, honestly, would work if you do it to taste. Uh, that's the key. Do it to taste. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the Audiomatic. And um, I'll also grab a stereo imager. And let's do a radio effect, but a mono radio effect. So originally a radio effect, we just press this radio button. Let's preview it. We're just going to pull it mono for this part right here. Render that. Cool. And I want to do the same thing for this one. Going to render that again. All right. Now, as for um, the other two sections we have. All right. For these parts, I'm going to grab Scream. And I like the 70s lo-fi preset here. So I'm going to render that here. But um, I'll preview it for you first all right and let's uh do it right here as well and then this one will go to our trusty verify slow it down let's go all right i like how that sounds uh, one thing I would do is uh, fade these out here. Um, you might also play with the length of these sections before you chop them and make sure you like like it. That 
that was Audiomatic and Scream. Let's go ahead and find a different spot where we can use Sweeper. Gonna do this section right here before the drop, basically. Uh, cut that out. And, um, Reason Rack plugin. It just looks so smooth in here. Um, by the way, it looks like it belongs here. That's, uh, it looks like it belongs. It's at home. <laughs> Alright, but, uh, let's grab an effect. I said we will use Sweeper. Let's use this growler preset here. Turn that off. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. And I'm a render. All right, and let's see what it sounds like. Let's take this part right before it. Reason Rag plugin. Go back to Audiomatic. Uh, let's grab um, maybe this eerie preset here. PVC. PVC. Let's go with that one. And hear it. Now for this one, I'm going to grab a lo-fi here and uh, kind of combine the effect I have going. Render that. Alright, zooming in a little bit. Let's chop this up a little bit more. Cool effect there. Uh, again, lyrics will make everything stand out. So, dope stuff you could do to add variation to your tracks. Uh, let's go ahead and try Polar now. Alright. Gonna grab the Reason Rack plugin again. This time, we'll go to Polar. Let's uh, also add in Rotor. That'll be cool. So here I am going to drop the pitch two octaves here. Uh, make sure that's on. And uh, if I don't turn off the dry signal, it'll double. So we're turning this off. And let's turn this off for a second. So this is what we're going to make it to. Let's put rotor above uh, polar. Hold it now, shift so it'll automatically reroute. And you can hear the difference it made in it. Making it more wobbly. It's like an eerie, sinister feeling. Alright, I'm gonna hit render. And uh, as far as polar goes, it might not be in time. And we'll easily fix that by dragging it to where it needs to be. Uh, let's zoom in and listen and see. All 
All right, I won't want it to go that long, and it does get off beat. All right, so I could tell it's a little bit off beat. So what we're gonna watch for is that these snare hits right here that were transformed hit closer to the grid. So I'm just gonna take off the beginning here, and we'll add it back later. Um, we'll start here. Uh, let's zoom in, and I'm moving this, shifting it over to the left, holding down the command key. You can also turn on a metronome if uh, that makes it easier for you to follow along. All right, now as for this part, I would like to chop this up. Let's see what this sounds like. I'm gonna chop this kick and duplicate it a couple times. Gonna verify this to slow down. Also gonna do it here for this part, right about here. Slow down. And we'll slow this down too. All right, let's play. Okay, cool. I'm liking how that happened, uh, but let's draw this out and keep it like this. All right, cool. So I love how that's going. It might be overkill if you have lyrics on it and it doesn't fit. Don't put it there. As I said, do what it takes. I just wanted to give you some creative ideas. Uh, you know, get the energy boosted up when you're working in Pro Tools with the Reason Rack plugin. All right. Let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.